All right, we are joined by Michigan State University head coach Tom Izzo, Gabe Brown, and A.J. Hogart. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Izzo, followed by questions for the students, and then we'll go back to questions for Coach. Coach, you're up. Well, I'm both disappointed and proud uh, to have two ankle injuries in 20 seconds to my two point guards. It was a tough situation. Tyson couldn't go, and give A.J. credit, he went back and got it heavily taped and just did what he had to do. And uh, I thought we, we made some plays, but we got beat by a really good team. Um, they made, I don't know if Hunter made one of those threes. I was going to foul then, and we were one down, and I didn't do a very good job because I was relaying that to my team, and we gave up those two threes. Big worry, bones and everybody, media, fans, coaches was the turnovers. We had four turnovers and won the second half. Unbelievable job. Um, we just didn't do a very good job on the board. Second chance points we got killed on and, and the free throws were, were not good at all. So um, I voiced my opinion a lot of times on what I'm disappointed in my team. Um, I will tell you that I'm as proud of this team and what they did and I'm chomping at the bit to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, we are getting better. Uh, we're, as I told Gabe, and we got to just get rid of the my bads, you know. You can't, can't have mistakes on a coverage or you can't have mistakes on some things. And I thought we had some good shots, and whether it be Gabe, Joey, Malik, all those threes were just a hair short. It's probably some of that is playing the third day. So um, Matt's got a hell of a team. Um, they can beat you so many different ways. Uh, it's a load inside that we we were okay at. I mean, for, we, we kind of changed it up. Sometimes we doubled, sometimes we didn't. And, uh, you know, right now the better team won, but uh, this team's going to get better in a week, and we're going to see if we can do some damage. We'll start with questions for the students. Raise your hand. We'll start with Matt on the right-hand side. Matt Sharpen of Detroit News. This is for both you guys. Um, and Tom kind of references a little bit of what you guys were able to accomplish this week. I know you want to win every game you play, but considering how the three days went, where do you feel, as you, you feel like you guys are at? Do you feel like you've kind of regained a little something here over this time? Yeah, I think we uh, regained a lot. I think we learned a lot about ourselves, kind of up here fighting, um, proving people wrong a little bit uh, with how they projected us. So. I think we learned a lot. Um, we got to get back to the drawing board when we get back, see where we land on Sunday, and just try to get better in this week and prepare for March Madness, like Coach said, and just continue to get better and rally each other. Don't get too down. I wanted this so bad for our seniors, but we didn't get it done tonight, so we just kind of got to get back and get another shot at March. We'll stay on the right-hand side. Brian Teague, Chicago State of Mind Sports. This question is for both of you guys. What is your mindset going into that tournament? Gabe, you start, and then AJ. Um. It's just ready to lock in. Um, like I said, I went home early last year, and I'm not trying to go on home early this year. So once we get back, like AJ said, we got to get back to the drawing board. We got to get back to getting back to Michigan State basketball like we've been playing this weekend. AJ? Yeah, piggybacking off what Gabe said, I just want this so bad for our seniors. Um, we put a lot of work in this summer, kind of fell short, shot ourselves in the foot during the regular season, coming out with a Big Ten title that way. Dropped one a night to get to the championship. So I feel like just putting all my energy towards March and doing the best I can do for my team and leading and just finishing our seniors off strong and right, sending them out the right way. Left-hand side, Chris. Chris Solari, Detroit Free Press. Uh, AJ, when you guys get it cut down to one there, and then I think they went on a 9-0 run. But from your end and your perspective, when you get what cut it from 13 to one, what was going right in that stretch in the second half? I think everybody was just doing their job. Um, coach put us in positions to do certain things. Everyone did their job to a T and helped us with that run. I just think when it got down to one, I got to do a better job of being a point guard and the extension of coach on the floor and controlling the pace and the tempo at that time. Well, in the middle on the right-hand side. Ian Crest, WLNS and Lansing. Gabe, you just talked about getting back to Michigan State basketball. What do you think allowed you guys to get back this weekend? Um, like coach to focus on rebound, rebound, defend, and run. And that, those, are my, those are our main staples here. And that's what we focus on. And I felt like we did a, did a great job of just doing that. And Right now, we just got to keep on doing that and keep on getting better each and every day. We'll go all the way on the far right side. Stephen Brooks, 24-7 Sports. This is for AJ. AJ, you played that whole second half. I'm uh, just wondering how you're feeling now and how you were able to sort of push through there. I know you were kind of the only option, but 
what was that like being the guy and having to play the whole half there? Uh, it just kind of was normal for me. Just wanted to be the best for my team. Um, I knew Tyson was injured. I was, I'm still a little hurt, but just one of us had to play, and I wasn't going to let my seniors down like that, so I kind of put my mind to it and forgot that I was hurt until you just said something about it. <laughs> but I just wanted to play hard for my guys and just get my all for it. Um, Tyson couldn't go, so I just had to do what I had to do. Left-hand side, Jack in the front row. Jack Ebling, the drive and press pass. You guys, uh, 25 free throws for Purdue. You guys shot six. How tough is it to keep them off the line? And when you're down 13 and you know you don't have Tyson, how did you pull it together and come back? We just followed the game plan down the stretch. Um, the halftime speech, coach talked to us about things we needed to do. We fixed it, went out there and made a run. Just tough helping our bigs. We had a lot of different coverages on the bigs. Um, we fouled them a lot, put them on the line. Something we got to adjust, kind of do a better job of defending without fouling. But I kind of think we did everything we needed to do to get that run down. We just kind of continue to sustain that to finish off the game. We'll take two more for the students. We'll start with Kyle on the left-hand side, third row. Yeah, Kyle Austin from M Live. Uh, guys, a week ago you had, had come off the back-to-back -back road losses. You kind of hit a road point. Despite the loss today, how much kind of better is the feeling or the confidence about this team going in the NCAA tournament? I feel like it's through the roof. I feel like our guys is confident. I feel like all our coaches is confident in us. We just got to keep on working and keep on pushing every day, and it, and it starts in practice. So this week we're gonna we're gonna really grind. We're gonna really grind things out, look at film, and just get down to the nitty gritty and get a win. All right. Uh, one more in the front right there. Stephen Brooks, 24-7 Sports again. This is for Gabe. I wanted to ask you about uh, what you saw from AJ today and maybe his leadership qualities, um, whether it's displaying that, you know, sort of just uh, non-vocally, vocally as well. Is he, is he starting to show you some of those things that he could be a leader for this program down the line? For sure. He stepped up in so many ways, distributing the ball, scoring the ball, talking to guys, defending. He did it all tonight, and I'm, I'm just proud of him. I'm proud of him. All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. Good luck in postseason next week. We'll continue with questions for Coach Izzo. We'll start in the front row here. Sean. Sean Ryder, uh, State News. Um, you know, you've talked about before the season that, you know, you coach the whole season. You don't just coach in February and March. But you do have the legacy of, you know, kind of peaking at the right time going into the NCAA tournament. Does this kind of feel like that kind of peak, or is there a little more nuance to what's been going on? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I was trying to figure out if I was disappointed at halftime the way we started. But, I mean, a doctor just told me we lost two point guards in 23 seconds or something like that. And uh, and we weren't ready for that. We had some coverages in on, on doubling because we didn't double much the last time. And what we wanted to do, and that got changed because of personnel. And, um, you know, but I, I, I thought all in all, um, you know, I, I I thought we really did do some good things. I thought we got some guys some good shots. Max, Joey, Joey and Malik both had wide open threes. And uh, considering, you know, we were hoping Tyson, the one thing he would have gave us is the way they play ball screens. We thought we could get him some shots there because they drop, and uh, it just wasn't the case. And he couldn't go. It's I don't know how bad it is. It's I mean, it's not broke or anything, but it's it's bad enough where uh, it'll be at some time here, and uh, that's just disappointing. We'll go on the left-hand side. Chris, second row. Chris Solari, Detroit Free Press. Tom, for a couple months, you've been kind of questioning this team's toughness and resilience and grit, and it seemed like tonight, uh, and really over the last two days, how pleased are you seeing that now going into the tournament? Well, I'm pleased, you know, but, you know, with pleased goes the question, why did it take so long, you know? And, uh, but I think part of that is the inexperience. And like I said, not age, just inexperience. And um, I, uh, I am more disappointed, you know, than uh, I am bummed out for them because you would hope they'd get something for that. But I don't want to take anything away. I think Matt's team, I picked them as the best team in the conference. When the year started, I still think uh, with their personnel and and uh, Noah's Ark kind of deal where they got two of everything um, and, and very well coached, I think they have a chance to be, uh, you know, make a serious run. So that means that Wisconsin, who won our league, uh, Illinois, we played to the wire. Uh, 
Purdue we beat and played to the wire. Um, can we get consistent enough to make a little run? And uh, who knows where we'll be uh, seated. Who cares where we'll be seated? You know, I've uh, lost as a two seed and, you know, went to a final four as a seven or eight seed. So I, I guess nothing matters except us getting a little better. And, and we still did make some mistakes that are inexcusable. You know, we, we, we got a couple of rolls for lobs, then we quit rolling. Um, but we were really discombobulated with, uh, with Tyson's deal. And, and trust me, uh, he was hurt. He's just, he's, you know, he's from the streets of Philly and he just played. And, uh, but he was hurt too. And uh, so it kind of gave us an unsure thing. We tried to put Max there some, put a lot of pressure on him guarding, you know, uh, Ivy and then having to do that. And uh, it was an interesting day, but I think one that we're gonna learn and grow from and hopefully uh, see what we can do. We feel we can play with anybody, but uh, we still got some things to correct. All the way on the far right-hand side, third row. Bob Wodowski, Detroit News. Um, Tom, did you see, and not acting like there's some big revelation here, but your team clearly played better this weekend defensively. Did you see some of this forming at any point late in the season? And is it simply tournament time that, that clicks in some kids sometimes? Yeah, I sure hope not. Um, you know, I, I think what we did is we, we don't have great leadership and, uh, you know, that's that's not an insult. It's just some people are born to be leaders and some aren't. And I think one thing started going south, and then we, you know, our schedule was really brutal. I mean, it was brutal that we played all those road games and we played the best teams late. And it was just a, you know, once it started rolling of not playing well, then it, it got worse. And I, I think all that played into it. And, uh, you know, we did have some meetings after, after we went to Ohio State and, you know, just tried to correct some things, but they always do listen more when they lose, you know, I mean, that's pretty normal. That's pretty human. And, uh, and when you get embarrassed when you lose, like we did a couple times, um, I, I think they listen more. I think we did a little better job of coaching them and not worried about their feelings. And I think they responded, so that was all good. We'll go in the middle on third row, left-hand side. Tom, Jamal Spencer, WZZM. Uh, you've mentioned about your team's inexperience, but in this elimination game, four turnovers only. Um, how much can that be a teaching moment going into the NCAA tournament about taking care of the ball? Because those mistakes, as you mentioned, can cost you a game. Yeah, you know, I've, I've never been, I've, I've never liked turnovers, but I've never been as sold on, you know, how does Wisconsin do it? You know, they, I look at the stats, and I'm not a, a big statistics guy, but the basic stats of, field goal percentage, field goal percentage defense, three point, three point percentage defense, free throw shooting. And and uh, I said, God, we're way up here and they're way down here. And yet uh, look at turnovers and we're way, way up here and they're way, way down here. So we got 60, what did we get? 69 shots. I mean, uh, you know, we'd hope to get in the 60s. And so we did all those things right. But I thought some of those shots were short because I think we were a little fatigued. And they did a hell of a job. I mean, we changed up. We went back to old school where we just did everything in the, in the uh, hotel. We had these little 20, 30-minute sessions. They did a great job. The staff did a great job. We just fell a little short to a team that's probably better than us. And uh, we just couldn't get it done. Right-hand side, second uh, towards the back. Tom, you know, it felt like the connection between Travion Williams and Eric Hunter at the end was the reason why, you know, they kind of pulled away. Talk to me about how difficult it is to defend the five where, you know, the big man is probably the best passer on the floor at times. Yeah, I, I, would, I would agree with you. He might be the best passer in the state. And I know Indiana's got some pro players here, but I, that kid is, uh, you know, right from down the road from us. And, uh, you know, I love Travion. He's a, he's a very, good player he's a very good passer Matt's done a hell of a job with him with the body and the, the post moves and uh, but the passing I'm not sure he's done a hell, you know that's like magic passes I mean he just has we made a highlight of just his passes it's pretty impressive I might send it to him when I'm done um, he really he really did a hell of a job and 
and they cut off them nice, uh, you know. But we, uh, you know, they still got to make those shots, you know. And uh, was it Hunter that, who made the threes late? Hunter made one, right? Two? Two. And he had really only taken one, I think, the whole day. And uh, so give him credit, too, you know, guy that kind of goes under the radar. And he stepped up and made uh, some big, big shots. All right, we'll go in the front row here. A few more. Jared. Uh, Jared, Jared Ramsey with the State News. Tom, um, in the second half, did you see a new side um, from AJ in terms of leadership and resilience? Well, you know, I mean, uh, you guys remind me of the modern day kid, you know, one, one event and all of a sudden we canonize. Um, I was very pleased with AJ, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't notice, uh, you know, you don't just shazam, uh, you know, you go from here to here. Um, he's making progress. Um, I think he learned something, you know, I thought Marcus learned something last night. Not sure that transpired, you know, uh, what, what did they say uh, in all those important books? It's 21 days, straight days to change behavior. So one day doesn't change it. Uh, it gives me a point of reference now to say, this is where you were, this is how you got there, this is what we gotta do. So um, I was very pleased with AJ. Um, I was disappointed in a few things we did, but in general, I thought we competed the whole time under circumstances that were a little tough with the point guard situation, especially in that first half. So I'm, uh, I'm encouraged that we can move forward and hopefully use uh, what we've done here, even at the end of the year, uh, to see where we can go. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Good thank luck you, next yep. week. I think the only guy happy is Gene Cady. You know, that's, that's, that's got great. his boilers. It was great to see Gene, and uh, that was good. So, you guys take care.